Hey, Sheldon Primus from Usher Compliance Help. So I was going to do another one of my compliance moments with you guys. Uh, that's a term that we use in the Certified Occupational Safety Specialist class course. And I'm going to show you one of my pictures that I've took at a consulting site. So I went out and my client was the roofer. So I went to the facility with them and uh, one of the first things I saw is this picture here that you're going to see. So I'm going to give you a little while to get a good idea of what you're seeing before I, I commentate on it. Uh, so if you're using this for educational purposes in your class, I'm going to zoom in to the picture. So get a good look. This is what you're seeing. You got a worker here that is ascending a ladder. And that's what he was doing because I was taking this picture, so I was seeing him ascend the ladder. He's got a, some heavy uh, something in this bucket. I wasn't sure what it was, but he is held in the bucket going up on a ladder. You've got a worker here on this roof, and he's got, uh, let's see, a bucket on this side and some other material. So this is basically what you're seeing in the picture. So I'm going to give you guys a little time to you uh, you want to pause it right here and just kind of take a good look to see what you're what you're seeing. All right. So if this is your job site, if this is your employees, if you're the one responsible for their safety and health, uh, then you probably have a few things that you want to talk to them and go over. So I'm going to start bottom up. Bottom up, I'm looking at this ladder itself, and I'm looking at the angle of the ladder, and it looks that it's kind of over to the side, so to me, the footing is wrong. So uh, you can see that it's slid over. Uh, I'm counting the rungs to the landing here. We've got one, two, three. So that is uh, good that they actually have a three-foot uh just an extension for the landing but the worker themselves is first carrying something heavy and uh, as they're ascending the ladder and then I can only see two points of contact there uh, as they're going up on the ladder he does not have any head protection and there is an overhead hazard for him so we're going up on the ladder here, working our way to this uh, part of the roof. So with this roof here, uh, you do have a roofer that needs some sort of uh, personal fall arrest system, fall uh, restraint system. He's going to have to have a guardrail or a safety net. Those are the three ways of protecting yourself from a fall. Uh, so if he doesn't have that, he doesn't have a hard hat for the construction zone as well. So I'm looking at those two uh, things specifically for him. So I'm going to turn over to, uh, I have a program that I use. It's called uh, Rights to Go with Mancom. If you buy any of the Mancom uh, regulations, you'll get a Right to Go card. So let's start with the ladder first. And this is the electronic version of that. And I'm at subpart X in 1926 of construction. So subpart X, stairways and ladders. We're going to go over to ladders, use of ladders. And then let's scroll all the way down. Because first um, we noticed that uh, the ladder itself, the use wasn't good so over here you're looking at each employer shall ensure that at least one hand to grasp the ladder when uh, progressing up or down a ladder so at some point that worker is going to have to release uh, with both hands and kind of grab up as he goes uh, real quickly uh, to get up that ladder and then the second one here uh, this is also telling you that an employee should not carry any objects or load that could cause the employee to lose balance. So those two events are citable events. 
that you're seeing. So that's in 1926, 1053, and B is the use of the ladder. And uh, right here in 6, this ladder shall be used only on stable and level surfaces unless secured to prevent accidental displacement. So uh, that ladder itself that we're looking at, it kind of looked a little cockeyed uh, from the picker, picture that it was leaning over. So those were a few with just the ladder, and that was uh, 1053. So let's go over to OSHA website. We're going to go over to data and statistics. And now we're going to kind of scroll down from data and statistics. And let's see if we could find about how much that penalty would be. So the data and statistics, I'm going to go down a little further to frequently cited OSHA standards. And you could do it that way. You could do industry profile. Uh, so I'm going to click on the frequently cited standard to show you that that will also get you to the industry profile. Uh, so those kind of go back and forth. So we mentioned 1926, 1053. So I'm going to type that in. 1926, section 1053. Oops, I don't need the dot. So 1053. I'm going to submit that. So I like seeing it in the five uh, digit NAICS code. Number one is roofing contractors. And out of 999 inspections, quite a bit, there's over a one to one ratio. Uh, so if they see it, they will cite it for the tune of $2.3 million in the federal, uh, this is a federal search in a one-year period. So in that one-year period from October 2015 to September 2016, that fiscal year, uh, just the latter used for residential roofing or roofing contractors was $2.3 million. So it's a very costly citation. Uh, so the other picture that we saw, and I'm going to go right back to that one, uh, part of the picture was the fall protection. So this worker does not have fall protection here. Uh, he eventually would be up there, so there'll be two of these guys without fall protection. Uh, so let's do that one just so you guys can see what kind of, of site that is. So I'm going to go back. And uh, I'll take you to the regs to go. Let's go into construction, uh, 1926, your fall protections in subpart M. So we'll go over to subpart M here. And duty for fall protection here. So the general duty for fall protection in, uh, in this section is if a worker uh, is exposed to a height, uh, greater than six feet that they're going to have to have fall protection so that your, your general requirement is, is right in the section here so that's 501 so 1926 501 I'm going to go back 501 and Let's see, 1926. Let's see if I need the dot on that one, because I know for sure there's been some citations there. So we're looking at construction. I'm doing the five digit SIC code. And there again, <laughs> roofing contractors are number one to the tune of 12.5, pretty much, million dollars. And it's to uh, almost 3,000 inspections and 3,000 citations, so one to one. If they see it, they're going to cite it. Uh, so that is uh, what you have here for uh, this compliance moment. Hopefully, you guys know that you can use fall protection when you're doing this type of work. You should use your ladder uh, properly. And if there's any more things that you've seen from this picture that I may have missed, uh, please go ahead and add that. Uh, I would love to have you subscribe to our channel. So OSHA Compliance Help 
uh, YouTube channel is gonna I'm gonna put out as much as content as I can and just keep adding to the channel so please just uh, subscribe I think it's clicking here to subscribe so love to see you and you can visit OSHAcompliancehelp.com and uh, I'll have plenty of resources there as well and I also have a membership group called Safety Culture that online and in that group it's just to help people get beyond the compliance based safety and start thinking culture safety culture so have a wonderful rest of your uh, day or evening depending on when you're watching this and uh, please leave a comment let me know what you think all right